Uh, sorry about that, people. The tape cut off. But as I was saying, um, the Metcalf stone that was found in Fort Benning, Georgia, um, by a guy who was basically looking for some stones because he was about to have a barbecue. And he came across a stone that was very, very peculiar to him. So he took the stone to a museum in Columbus, Georgia. And when the researchers in Columbus, Georgia, the museum um, looked at the the language that was written on the stone because it had, of course, different symbols and languages. So when they researched the symbols and languages, the symbols and languages on the stone dated back to 3500 B.C. to the Minoans. Now, we all know the Minoans as being a civilization in the Mediterranean Sea. So ask yourself this. Why are they finding tablets and stones with Minoan writing that dates back to 3500 B.C. in Georgia? If the Minoans are supposed to be some people in the Mediterranean Sea, which is across the Atlantic Ocean. So once again, this is this is proving the point of why I said earlier that you cannot discount the Aboriginal Autochthons of America and the indigenous people of Southern um, and Central Europe because they've been coming back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Since time immemorial. And also, like I said before, too, you know, those people that were in Europe when they got kicked out of there by those pale Christians. The reason why a lot of them came back over here, because ancestrally, since the ancient times, you know, they people were from over here. So maybe the Minoans or the so-called Eturians or the Etruscans or the Trojans or the so-called Greeks. Yeah, they may have set, set up civilization in the Mediterranean. But where did they come from? How do we know that some of these people they come from over here in America? You know. So once again, the copper colored people, this is them. Once again, here go another Minoan. Copper colored person. So if this is a Minoan right here, wait a minute. Now, now this is Blackbeard's uh, little desktop picture right here, right? Hold on real quick. God damn. All right, so this is Blackbeard's desktop picture. You know what I'm saying? A little picture of America. Y'all probably seen me use it before. This is one of my favorite ones because it show it shows us when we deep as fuck. And we just, just I just like this picture. But this is the Aboriginal Autochthon right here in America. Right here. You see him? This is Indigenous Autochthon. They saying right here America now. They saying America. This is Autochthon right here in America. Once again, copper colored person. This is a Minoan. A copper colored person. So you tell me what the real difference is between these two people. If the Americans, the Indigenous Americans... And the ancient people of so-called Greece don't got no connection to ancient people of Southern Europe. If they ain't got no connection, then you explain this bullshit to me right here. Why do they look the exact same? You see, why did they find him in Georgia? Because they found people in Georgia that look like him. And he had a tablet that had Minoan writing that dated back to 3500 B.C. But across the Atlantic Ocean in the Mediterranean Sea, you had people that looked like him. And they had Minoan writing and they were calling themselves Minoan. So that shows the connection between these people. And we always been dealing with each other. It's the same people. We just on two sides of the Atlantic. You get what I'm saying? That's what it is. So, you know, so to wrap that up one more time to all my indigenous people that are either from West Georgia or you may be from somewhere in East Alabama. Once again, like Black Bear folks, they from Stewart County. They found a tablet in Fort Benning that had writing on it that dated back to 3500 B.C. And it was Minoan writing. And when you research, they're going to tell you that the Minoans are some people in the Mediterranean Sea. Now, I'm not subtracting and I'm not discounting that. But what I need you to know is, is that they may have come from over here. OK. So the people that's in the Mediterranean right now. They mothers and fathers may have come from over here. And once again, it says excavations made at Fort Benning, Georgia, four years ago, uncovered an inscribed stone, which some ethnologists believe link the Yuki Indian tribe 
to a 3,500 year old Minoan civilization in the Mediterranean, reported UPI. This stone was, in other words, the Metcalf Stone. Okay, the Metcalf Stone. All right, was found by a guy named Manfred Metcalf, but it had basically Minoan writing. Okay. Now this tribe that they call the Yuki tribe or the Yuki Indians. Okay. Once again, you had so many copper colored Aboriginal people here in North America that some of them had been here a long time. Some of them had just showed up. Some of them had been living in the far west of North America. Now it's coming out east. And the people was like, we never seen y'all before. Although they are copper colored people. And then what happened as time went on, we were intermarried with each other. New offspring and new nations were born out of that. And then and then that leads to what you call so-called black people or so-called African-Americans. OK. So we are a mixture of all the ancient people. You know, and that's how that's how I, or at least that's how I take it. You know what I'm saying? Blackbeard is a is a is a is a son of the indigenous Adena, the indigenous Hopwell, the Mississippi and mound builders. Those are our indigenous ancestors. And when we say the indigenous Mississippian, you got to remember that this may be hell, some Minoan, some Egyptian, some Hebrew, some ancient Chinese, and they may make up what we call Mississippian. I know that sounds a little weird, but that's what the truth is, you know, because everywhere that you see across the east, you'll also find that here in, in, in America as well. So I hope y'all like this tape. You know what I'm saying? Once again, to wrap it up, they found elephants in ancient America. There were elephants in ancient America. We are the copper colored mining, copper mining people of Michigan. And you always been doing this shit. So salute. Stay tuned for the next one. It's the boy Blackbeard. The indigenous Illuminati. I'm out.